Hey Yusuf. Hey Yusuf. Hey Ben. Um, so essentially today we're going to be doing a muscular endurance test, um, one that is specific to your goals. We're going to be using a hip thrust. Hip, are you familiar with the hip thrust exercise? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, cool. So essentially we're, we're choosing the hip thrust exercise because in the goals we've outlined in our consultation, you said that you wanted to develop your lower body strength, specifically through the posterior chain, in, in hopes of developing your glute size and strength. Yep. Yep. Cool. So I thought the hip thrust would be something more specific to your goal, and it's quite easy to do. Um, doesn't really have that much technique, uh, technique uh, technical difficulties to work with it. So what I'll do now is I will show you the setup of it, and then you can have a go. Cool. Okay. If you feel uncomfortable at any point in the exercise, you can just stop. Um, and if you agree to do this assessment with me, then I will happily show you now. So yeah. Yeah. Good. Cool. No worries. Uh, during the assessment, then. We will be using a metronome beat count. So, so essentially I'll put on a timer for one minute and then that metronome, that beat count will be going. And we'll be using, if you recall two days ago, we did your strength test. Yeah. So we're gonna take 50% of the maximum number we lifted for, that, for the hip thrust, for the strength test. We're gonna implement it into this and then we're gonna do it for one minute continuously to see how many reps we got, and then hopefully by the end of our 12 week program, we can compare and see how many extra reps we did within that time. Cool? Yeah, cool. Awesome. So essentially we want to set up, I like to set up where the edge of the bench is in line with my rib cage, slightly in line with my rib cage. I would say for you, just find that comfortable spot so, you don't, so you're not lying too far back or too far forward. And then here's the bar, as we can see, here's the bar. And then we'll just get up and then on my count, I'm going to press play when you're in position. I'm going to put the timer on for one minute, put the metronome, set it in place, and we're just going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. And we're going to do that for one minute. And I'll just be standing around watching your form, saying that you're coming to a full range of motion. And yeah, cool. Happy to try? Cool. Okay. Awesome. So, have I made myself clear with everything? Very clear. Very clear. Thank you. Thank you. So now, if you just give me one second, Ben. So in the in your in your strength test, you got a hundred kgs. Mm -hmm. So fifty percent of a hundred is fifty kilos, which is what we have on the barbell today. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now I'm going to set the timer up for one minute. Um, I'm going to set the timer up for one minute now, and I'm going to set the metronome to go as well. So when I tell you two, three, two, one, go. Just hold on to the barbell then. Yeah. Nice. That's full head extension. And just don't forget to breathe. How we feel? Are we good? Good. Very good. Natural. Natural. We're almost there, Ben. We're about to reach the halfway mark. Just keep your breathing regulated. Keep that back against the bench. A nice range of motion, good job. About 10 seconds left, Ben. Starting to burn. Starting to burn, that's all part of the burn. And can we squeeze out one more? Finished. Good job. Now you can turn the lecture on. How did that feel? Good, yeah. Good, cool. So we recorded. Um, Holly, how long did we record? We recorded about 55 reps along those lines. So we essentially did that many reps in this period of time for one minute. So at the end of our program, in the middle of, uh, middle of our program, when we test this um, exercise again, obviously probably the loads will be higher because we anticipate your strength will go up. So that 50% value will also increase. And then yeah, we'll see how many more reps we can get next time. Sweet. Cool. Perfect. Thank you for your help today. Thanks. Cheers. Awesome.